The role of health and social protection in achieving sustainable development goals is again in the spotlight at its, at its inaugural consultation meeting in Abuja, Civil Rights Group D8 has urged the Nigerian government to work on improving the country's health facilities and legal system. The D8 organization comprising Nigeria, Egypt, Iran, Turkey, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Indonesia and Malaysia is focused on promoting developments among member states in the areas of health, technology, commerce and industry, among others. The Health and Social Protection Program is another development mechanism for promoting human development, inclusive growth, poverty reduction, and the protection of health care rights of persons. When implemented as conceived, the program should enable us to reach out to the vulnerable and the less privileged in our communities, especially the elderly, the women, the sick, the disabled, and those in dire need of health care and social protection. It's evident that health is a key economic stimulant and in order to attain sustainable growth and development heading into the next decade, health and social protection are critical. It's anticipated that the effective implementation of our health and social protection agenda will realize huge economic benefits running into several billions of dollars and place our member countries on a clear path of attainable, attainment of sustainable development goals before the target date of 2030. We want to finally assure you of WHO commitment to providing technical assistance for countries in improving the health indices. And to say that WHO's general program of work 13, GPW 13, was developed in consultations and validation of country members and has taken into consideration peculiarities of each country. And in our transformatory mode, we are going to work more closely with the country. It's going to be more of a bottom-up approach, and we are addressing the shortage. 